The Northern Group, under the auspices of Coalition of Northern Groups, CNG, has called on all Nigerians to shun politics of sentiment, religious and ethnic, uh, ethnicity for uh, the growth and development of the country. The group organized a one-day 2023 elections sensitization and awareness conference in uh, Kajuna with the theme, Politics of Sentiments, Critical Factor, uh, Militating Development of Democracy in Nigeria. Plus, the correspondent Abela Darofai fired in the report. We presented it from our studios. To have a better Nigeria come 2023, there is the need to sensitize the people to vote for the right candidate by setting aside sentiment, religion, and ethnic differences for the peace, progress, and development of the country. Speaking at the event, the national coordinator of CNG, Comrade Jamie Lutaranji, explained that religion and ethnic tolerance is a panacea to Nigerian survival as a nation. We are in a quagmire, and this quagmire can only be salvaged when we all put our hands together. We believe that a united and strong North translates into united and strong Nigeria. If the Northern Nigeria can do what is meaningful, if the Northern Nigeria can do what is supposed to be done, then definitely I believe that Nigeria will prosper. The spokesperson of CNG, Sulaiman Abdul Aziz, who lamented over what he termed as political dominance of the elite against the interest of few, said that 2023 is significant. According to him, Nigerians would not merely vote to transfer power from one administration to another or from one party to another, but will vote to transfer power from a bankrupt elite and give it back to the people. To be wary how he votes, to vote wisely, should not vote along uh, religion, ethnicity, sectional, or even party affiliation alone. He has to subject candidates, whichever candidate, to proper scrutiny, critical scrutiny. On his part, the guest speaker Abdullahi Abub said that Nigerian politics was characterized by violence, conflicts, pull-down syndrome, blackmail, hate speeches, rumor mongering and sabotage. He said that all these vices have their root on intolerance, sentiment and inability to accommodate divergent views and interests of Nigerians. They need to be extended to all states, all the local government, to all the ones in all the community. This program is supposed to be a continuous program, continuous education, continuous enlightenment, continuous sensitization. Also speaking at the event, Pastor Johanna Buru, who spoke on politics of sentiment from the religion's perspective, said that the northern Nigeria is disadvantaged in area of education, job opportunities, and other infrastructures. We allow tribal, ethnic, religious sentiment to cloud our hearts, our mind, that we are unable to do fear judgment to ourselves. The group says it does not have any preferred candidate in mind, but is calling on Nigerians across the country to use the power of their votes to change the political narratives come 2023. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.